Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to show you a very short video on how you can trim your Shiggy's nails. And before I show you the actual footage, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what you need to have on hand when you want to do it. So obviously the most important thing is you want something to trim their nails with and I'm just using regular nail clippers, nothing fancy. I just purchased these for this purpose. I don't use them on myself. I have been using these for over two years and they still work really good so there's no need to change them. You can purchase other types of clippers especially made for pets but these work just fine for us so that's what we are using. A very simple pouch, double fleece with no visible seams. This is where I put them in when I trim their nails, nothing fancy. Then I also have this little towel right here in case the pouch is not enough because sometimes they get a little fussy when I'm doing it and that's when I try to wrap them like a little burrito and keep them in here so that it's easier for me to trim their nails. In case you're curious, the way the Shiggy burrito works is um, you take the Shiggy and I have my little Oreo right here and you wrap the Shiggy inside the cloth to make sure that they don't move and and then you just take one leg out, the one that you need, or the foot or hand or whatever, the one that you need to use. It is easier when they're inside the pouch, but sometimes that just won't do because they move around too much and that's when I just use this instead. Then of course some treats for them. I normally just use simple yogis, but sometimes if it takes a little bit longer they might get bored of them. So you might um, consider having a backup like mealworms or dried fruit, whatever they like to eat a lot and a normal pouch in which I put them when I'm done but that's, that's really just optional. One last thing you need is some cornstarch in case you trim the nails too short and they start to bleed. You just dip the nail into the cornstarch so that the bleeding stops. Since I've done this for over two years now, I don't really cut their nails too short. I prefer to cut less and more often. So I never need a cornstarch. I do have it in my kitchen and you should keep it on hand especially if it's the first or second time you're doing it if you're still very unsure. But in general cornstarch is not needed when you're trimming the Shiggy's nails just because you will get a feel for it for how long you should trim them. They have a little quick on their fingernails and that's your sign that you have to stop. That's how far you should go. You should not touch or clip the quick you should clip uh, before it starts because if you trim that then they will start bleeding. First thing you want to do obviously wash your hands and remove your jewelry just because you don't want your shiggies to get stuck in there. Now I'm taking out one of the guys. I have Oreo and Daisy in here and uh, let's see who wants to go first. Little Oreo I think. Say hi. Hello. So, taking out Oreo first, going to leave Daisy inside her pouch still, just waiting there. And um, you're going to go in here. Good boy. Perfect, thank you so much. Now I have some yogis over here and um, you can give them something else as well to just give them something they really like. Oreo's getting his yogis. Now, let's just take the first leg. On his back leg, you only need to trim these last two nails. Hopefully you can see that. They're pretty long at the moment, um, but we are going to cut just a little bit. Let's see. I hope the camera focuses. One, two, and that's it. And then these two over here that are very close together, you don't need to trim very often. It's Really sufficient if you trim them maybe once every couple months. I'm just going to take off the tip just a little bit. Because these are their grooming nails and they need to stay longer. Then the last toe does not have any nail on it. And so we don't have anything to trim over there. Just going to stuff you with treats. Now give me your hand. Give me a little hand. Come on. Thank you very much. Now, the hand has five fingers with nails, so you have to trim each of them. OK, 
carefully. You don't want to trim too close to the tip. So just really just cut the tip off and then you're good to go. I'm really trying my best over here. I don't know if the camera is focused. I can't really see it. So let's hope it is. So again, just the tip. Good boy. So good. So when they're resisting, you don't want to push too hard because that's going to hurt them. So just keep their hand in place, but do not push too hard, please. Want to say hi again? Here's another one. Ooh, no more? Oh well. This is where it gets interesting because he got bored of the yogis and now he just wants to come out or be left alone, but he's a good boy nevertheless and we are going to manage just fine. So I'm taking out his other hand. Again, very careful. No, don't twist, that's not good. We're almost done. Almost done, baby. Oh. Now, he pulled too hard, so I had to let go. And I'm going to take his hand again and do the last two nails. And now we only have one leg left, and then we're good to go. And there we go. That was it. Was it so hard? No, it wasn't. It wasn't hard. It was Lily. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you don't like it. I know. I'm very much aware of that. Well, we're going to be finished in just a minute. So you don't want to hold too hard when they're pulling like this. You need to let go when she's pulling too hard. No, Lily. One more nail. One more nail. And then we're good to go. Wait. Wait. See, this is where it gets interesting because she's so fussy. So if it doesn't work with the pouch anymore, don't run away. I know you want to run away right now, but that's not good. She's going to use the towel and put her in here. Thank you. Perfect. Now, there we go. Now we're done. We are done. Actually, I want to trim this off just a little bit more. Perfect. See, not that difficult. <laughs> she just wants to hide in my bra right now. Good girl. You were so brave. You were very brave. Very, very, very brave. Thank you so very much for watching this video, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos on sugar gliders. We have Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, and Twitter, and I will add all of the links and names in the description box below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And thank you so very much for watching again. I will see you next time. Bye! If you trim their nails too short, they might start bleeding a little bit. Oh God, don't be so fussy. No, or you no know play time until mama's finished. <sighs> okay, let's put you, where can I put you? You wanna go into your pouch? Or you wanna go into my bra? And we're not playing now, baby. Good boy. Good boy.